Carl Applebee's.
Hello, Carl. Holder, can you see that screen pretty well? Yep. Okay. Hello, Elijah. Hola, Doris. Hi, Devon. Hi, Nina. Hola, Elizabeth. Hi. 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 How are you today? I am okay. How are you today? Good. Good. Yes. Vas a divertir por el fin de semana. How did Darth Vader know what Luke Skywalker got him for Christmas? He felt his presence. What was the mummy's favorite type of music? Rap. 
I'm only familiar with 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. Did you hear about the beautiful wedding? Even the cake was in tears. Why are there fences at cemeteries? Because people are dying to get in. Company is making glass coffins. Whether they're successful remains to be seen. What did one wall say to the other? Meet me in the corner. What do you call a large African mammal with long hair and sandals? A hippopotamus. How do you think the unthinkable with an iceberg? Only with an iceberg can you think the unthinkable. What's the award for being the best dentist? Plaque. There you go. All righty. Today, we're going to do something called geometric mean. Don't be afraid of the big words. It's very easy. Right? But uh, to do this today on Delta Math, I need to review one concept with you, and that's simplifying radicals. Simplifying radicals. What am I talking about? Well, the square root of 27, for example. Whoops, whoops, whoops. All right. So the square root of 27, the question is, <clears throat> which of these purple square roots goes into 27. Would you agree that nine goes into 27 evenly? This nine right here, nine. In other words, the square root of 27 is the square root of nine times the square root of three. What is the square root of nine? That would be three, square root of three. Okay, so the square, the square root of 27 is the same as three square root of three. Okay, you might have a few problems today where you have to do this with the square root that you get in your answer. Okay, how about square root 48? Which of these purple square roots evenly goes into 48? Sixteen. Sixteen goes into 48 three times. So it's square root of 16, square root of three. What is the square root of 16? Square root of 16 is four. Answer four, square root of three. Okay. Which of these purple square roots evenly goes into 98? Forty-nine. Ninety-eight is forty-nine times two. What is the square root of forty-nine? Seven. 
square root of 2. That's called simplifying, simplifying. How about 125? Which of those purple square roots evenly goes into 125? 25. Square root of 25, square root of 5. What is the square root of 25? Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 5. Okay. 972? What the fiddlesticks? All right. Maybe there are some perfect squares up in this range here. One of these purple square roots evenly goes into 972. I'm going to try 324. See how that works out for me. 324. If I do 972 divided by 324, I get three. So it's 324 times three. Square root of 324 times three. What's the square root of 324? The square root of 324 is 18. So it's 18 square root of three. Okay. Five seventy-eight. What number goes into five seventy-eight? I don't know. I'm gonna pick one. I'm gonna try. I don't know. One sixty-nine. I don't know. Five seventy-eight divided by one sixty-nine. No, that didn't work. Five seventy-eight. Oh, 289. 289 goes into 578. All right. So 578 is 289 times 2. Okay. Square root of 289 is 17. Square root of two. Okay, so now let me show you <clears throat> where you're going to use that. Okay, so here's what today's problems will look like. All right, right triangle A, B, C, all right. So what you have here is three right triangles and they're all proportional, proportional. You know what, before I do this problem, what does proportional mean? I'm gonna show you what proportional means. Proportional means if I have a small triangle, a medium triangle, and a big triangle. If I said that this was say three and this was 15 and this was 25, okay. If these are proportional, it means that this times five 
equals 15. Oh, I didn't mean to use 25 over here. So, all right. Here, three times nine equals 27. All right. And let's say if this is four, then this will be 20 because it's times five. And this would be 36 because it's times nine. Okay. And then if this is five, this would be 25 and this would be 45. Proportional means that all, all of the numbers of each triangle match up with each other. I can find each number by multiplying another number from here. Proportional, okay? That's proportional. So, what I'm saying is I have three proportional triangles here, all right? I have this small triangle. I have this medium triangle. And I have this large triangle. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them up next to each other. Okay. I've got the small. I've got the medium. I've got the large. Okay. So here, if this is six here, all right, and this here is 27. Okay. Do you see how I got that? Please stop me and ask me questions if you don't see what I've done here. I've redrawn the triangles so that you can see them going the same direction now. Okay. So uh, I want to find the length of BD, and that is this length right here. It's also this length right here, okay? So here's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. I'm saying that X is to six as 27 is to X. Okay, meaning I'm saying this guy to this guy is the same as this guy to this guy, okay? Long leg to short leg equals long leg to short leg. You guys seeing that screen okay? Can you see that okay on the screen? Okay, All right. Long leg to short leg equals long leg to short leg. Now I'm going to cross multiply. If you don't remember what cross multiply means, it means this times this equals this times this. Cross multiply. So I'm going to say that x times x is x squared. And six times seven, 20, I'm sorry, six times 27. I don't remember that. I'm, so I'm using my handy dandy calculator, 162. Okay, so I don't want to know what x squared is. I want to know what x is. So to find x, I'm going to take the square root. All right, what's the square root of 162? And today, what you have to do is you have to simplify the square root. 
Oh man. So I need to find one of these purple, one of these purple square roots that goes into 162. I'm going to use 81. Eighty one goes into one sixty two. Two times. Eighty one times two is one sixty two. What is the square root of eighty one? Nine square root of two. That's how you do this. Okay. That is proportional. Let's take a look at another one. Okay. Once again, I have three triangles, a small one. I have a medium one. And I have a large one, the entire thing. Okay, so I'm going to line these up. I have small, I have medium, I have large. Okay. All three triangles are proportional. So the number nine is here on the short leg of the green triangle. But it's also the long leg of the blue triangle. And then 27 is the long leg of the green triangle, all right? The question says, what is the length from here, from A to C? What is this length right here? In order to find that, I got to figure out this little itty bitty bees right here. All right, I need to find out what this side is right here. That I'm going to call that X. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm going to do long leg to short leg equals long leg to short leg. Long leg to short leg equals long leg to short leg. Okay, and I'm going to cross multiply. <laughs> So I get 27x, 27 times x equals nine times nine is 81. All right, so I'm going to divide both sides by 27. Using my calculator, what is 81 divided by 27? That's going to be three. Oh. So this itty bitty length over here is three. But this guy here is 27. So what do I do to find the entire piece there? I'm gonna take 27 plus three. My answer is 30. Can I? Can I please have a thumbs up if you understand what I did there? Estás confundido? Okay. Elijah, thank you. Nina, Devon, Karen, Alex, thank you. Okay. You're okay? All right. All right. Brian, thank you. All right. Okay. So here's what I'm saying. 
I'm saying in this big triangle here, this big triangle, I have three triangles, the small, the blue one, the green one, the medium, and the whole thing, the pink one, okay? They're proportional, means this guy times three makes this guy. So this guy times three makes this guy. So I'm going to say this is to this as this is to this. Okay. I can do that. If I had numbers here, I can say this is to this. Okay. So I'm doing long leg to short leg equals long leg to short leg. So 9 to x equals 27 to 9. I cross multiply. 27 times x. Equals nine times nine, which is eighty-one. I do it by twenty-seven. That's three. So this little guy here is three, and this guy is twenty-seven. So what's AC from A all the way to C is three plus twenty-seven, thirty. You with me? Yeah. Kelly, you okay? All right. You can sit there. Uh, yes, but I'm going to do another example. Assignment is on Delta Math. All right. All right. Once again, I have here a small triangle. I have a medium triangle. I have a large triangle. Okay. So I'm going to line them up. I'm going to go small, medium, large. Okay. The small one, that short leg there is one. And the long leg is two. And in the medium sized one, the short leg is two. All right. And I'm going to call this piece here X, which is this piece here, X. Okay. But I need to know all the way from A. It says AC. So from A is here to C is here. This whole length there. So whatever I get for X, I'm going to add one, right? So here I go. I'm going to set it up. Two is to one. Two is to one. Right? This guy is to this. This guy is to this guy as x is to 2. I'm going to cross multiply. x times 1 is x. 2 times 2 is 4. x equals 4. Oh. So this is 4 plus the 1 equals 5. That's my answer. Okay. All right. I'm going to do one more example. All right. I have small triangle. I have medium triangle. 
I have a large triangle. Okay. What's AD? Oh, it's only asking for this right here. I don't have to go all the way to C. I just have to find this light blue piece here. Okay. So I'm gonna still draw my three triangles, small, medium, large, and the short side on the small triangle is five. The long leg is 10, right? And the short leg on the green triangle, the mid-size triangle is 10. And I wanna find the long leg, I'm gonna call that X. Once I find X, I'm done. So I'm gonna say 10 is to five. Now, let me do this before I confuse you more. 10 is to five as X is to 10. Cross multiply. 5X equals 100. Divide by five. equals 20, right? Easy, man. Okay. All right. So try it. Your assignment is on Delta Math. Okay. And I am going to sit here and take questions. Okay. Uh, Karen, I can give you your username. I don't know your password. Hopefully you will remember your password. Uh, Karen, you have two different accounts. One account is K Vasquez two. The other one is two four two six four one. I've asked you to use your school computer password as your password so you wouldn't forget it. So um, hopefully you can figure it out. If you can't, I can reset your password and you can give yourself a new password. But it's either K Vasquez two or 242641. You can use either one.
Um, yeah, can you please reset my password? Okay, so let me ask you this then. Would you like, I can, I'll, I can reset it for both accounts or just one if you want. You want me to reset it for the K Vasquez two or the two, six, two, two, whatever that your, your ID number. K, K Vasquez. K Vasquez, I'm gonna reset that one, okay. All right. Oh, uh, Karen, I, I can, I put in the password. So do me a favor, just, um, uh, private message me whatever password you'd like to use and give me something easy to remember, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, Karen, try it now. You should be good to go. Okay, good.
tener la tercera. Me confundí, no sé qué tenía que poner en la raíz cuadrada. Yo tengo la pregunta, güey, que la pregunta está bien. Sí, no. Pero no sé si la pregunta está bien. Sí, no. Devon, have a good weekend. Say no to drugs.
Carl Daniels, have a good weekend. Say no to drugs. Uh, Mr. Wise, can I try to share my my screen with you? Would you please? Yes. Okay. So, um, really, uh, I think that this is like a ridiculous easy one because nine to nine equals nine to X. So I think your answer is just going to be nine. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes, I was trying to understand which one was each triangle. Yeah. Yeah, that was, a, they tried to make an easy one be really confusing. That was not nice.
Misa, have a good weekend. Say no to drugs. Karen, have a good weekend. Say no to drugs. Dice no a las drogas. Caramba.
Amy, are you working on some other assignment? Because you haven't started this one yet. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Thank <laughs>
All right, gang. I am. Oh, I'm sorry, Elijah. I just. I, can you go ahead and share your screen? AC. So what you want to do is you want to say 12 to 36 equals 36 to X. I'm going to call X A D. But once you get X, you'll have to add it to 12 to get A C. So do 12 over 36 equals 36 over X. And what do you get? Uh, 12 X equals 1,296. Divide by 12. What do you get? One oh six. I mean, 108. 108, right? So that's a D now add it to the 12. One hundred twenty. That should be your answer. Bam. Have a good weekend. Oh, thank you. You too. Okay. All right, gang. Have a good weekend. Get your work done. Say no to drugs. <laughs>